Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Brian Scott and Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. Uh, my name is Brian Scott, as he said. I'm with Aggie Technologies. We are an IT partner. We basically um, come into businesses and help them stabilize their environment and then help them grow with the use of the modern uh, new age technologies that are out there. So we specialize in the cloud and, and online backups and things of that nature. So we, we're um, basically integrating new technology into businesses. Okay. Well, as much as computers are in our, entwined into our everyday lives today, I'm sure you are probably very busy. That we are. We're yeah. very busy. We've had a lot of success over the past uh, couple of years, so we're, we're, we're rolling pretty strong, so we're wide open. Awesome. Well, good. Well, let me just get, uh, ask you a few questions sure. um, that I know I have and would like to hear uh, answered personally, and maybe some of you out there uh, share some of the same questions that I have. But first of all, um, I hear, and it's happened to me personally, where I've lost data. What can someone do in order to make sure that they, you know, in case they do lose data? Right. Well, there's, um, I always say that any backup is better than no backup at all. So, of course, first of all, you want to back up. Now, there are, of course, there are multiple levels of doing backups. You have, some people use flash drives, a lot of people use external drives, um, a lot of people use cloud backups. So. My recommendation is to, you know, always have some ha have something that is maintained somewhere else. For instance, a cloud backup. Um, companies like Carbonite offer cloud backup, and, and things of that nature. A lot of times, I'll have clients who have a uh, external hard drive and a backup of that external hard drive on the cloud. So it's easily accessible locally, but also can be maintained uh, in, the, in the event that something happens. Because you know, uh, an external drive is a piece of machinery, and every piece of machinery has a shelf life. So it is going to fail at some point. So you want to be ready for that moment when it does fail. Okay, so would you recommend that, uh, like a, something in the cloud as far as a backup cons is concerned, even for a business that has Lots of data? Absolutely, absolutely. And there are, uh, Carbonite was just one example. There are many, many online backup companies out there that, that focus and specialize in large amounts of data storage on the cloud and easily retrieving that data when, you know, if in fact the, the unthinkable happens and you have to do so. So I do recommend that, mo I actually recommend that more so for businesses uh, for personal than for personal use, but of course, personal use, a lot of people have uh, probably in your, in your um, business business, you find people have a lot of pictures and videos that they want to maintain, and that's a great way of using online backup as well, because it also does not take up a lot of space, you know, doesn't take up that massive amount of space on your computer or on your hard drive. You just put it in the cloud, and it's maintained somewhere else for you. Sounds simple. Yeah, it, it, we can make it that way. Okay, oh well, good. <laughs> All right, and then uh, another question I have is, um, I notice that as time goes by, I'll get a, a computer and it's like super fast, and then it gets slower. Is it actually getting slower, or what can I do to keep it running at top speed? Yes, it is actually getting slower. There are some occasions where, um, you know, it, like, I, like I mentioned before, it is a piece of machinery, so it does have a shelf life in itself, but, and the moving parts inside of it do as well. But things like internet surfing, things like the addition of programs, uh, you know, can, the more you put on it, the more the computer has to work to do its job. So um, <clears throat> things like you know cleaning out cookies and, and temporary internet files and things like that can can help with maintaining that speed that you that you initially had on your computer. But also, um, you know, I always like to say computers like a car. So you know, you tune up your car, you change the tires on your car. You should do the same thing for your computer. There, you know. Um, various com things that you can do to clean the computer, various services that you can use to clean the computer um, to make sure that it maintains its, its life. One of the things that I always recommend is um, when you install a program, a lot of times what happens is that it, the program itself installs a hook into what's called your startup menu, which means that whenever you start your computer, it's going to start that program. I'll give you a perfect example. Skype is one that is a commonly used program. A lot of people use Skype for, you know, for, for video conferencing and what have you. Well, Skype, when it's installed, asks you, do you want to start Skype when you start your computer? Now, when you start your computer, are you going to immediately start a Skype session? 
not necessarily, but it's but Skype is running, so your computer is actually it's actually taking up your computer speed by maintaining Skype in the background, waiting for you to use it. So I always say just don't choose that option to start it when you start your computer. Just let the computer start and use Skype whenever you're ready to use Skype. Ah, all right. So is there an easy way to figure out what's running and not running, and that, um, or what's taking up some of the speed? There is. There are, there are a, couple of, um, a couple of devices that, uh, that, that computers provide for you to do so. Uh, there's one called a task manager. Um, one of the things that actually gives you a graphical display of how much, how many resources are being in use on your computer, you can get that to control alt delete. Just control alt delete, and you can see what's going on. Um, there's also uh, a, a command called Microsoft Configuration, or, short, or MS Config for short. And in when you bring up that window, there's a tab that shows you what's in your startup folder. So what's what's being started when your computer starts. And you know, normally when I go into a computer and it's running slow, that's one of the first things I check. And you can see a long list of things that are being started when your computer's starting. You uncheck some of those boxes, and you and usually you immediately see a difference in the speed mm -hmm. of your computer. Okay, good advice. All right, and then one quick uh, question, because you talked about cleaning up to increase the speed. You see advertised on TV these, you know, clean up a computer, increase the speed, and whatnot. Right, right. Is that does that really work or? In a one-word answer, no, it does not. Um, there's actually <clears throat> Dateline NBC actually did a did a story on those type of those clean up my PC and you make my PC faster or whatever you want to call them uh, programs. And there, and and you know just to be frank, it's a ripoff. They'll ask you to they'll, you know they'll take your money you know up to you know somewhere between thirty and fifty dollars to run what they say are cleanup processes, but really all they're doing is just installing things on your, your computer, which, you know, that was the whole problem in the first place, you're installing things on your computer. So it doesn't, it doesn't help at all. Okay. It doesn't help at all. So I strongly recommend don't spend your money on those clean up my PC uh, programs because they don't work. Okay, well, very good. Well, thank you for the information. Thank you for the tips. And hopefully out, you out there um, found this beneficial. And if you'd like to find out more information about Brian and his company, check out the website at the end of this video. In the meantime, if you want to continue this conversation online, feel free to do so by filling out the box below. That's all we have for today. Until next time, take care.